Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Waking up, turning on the coffee pot. That definitely needs to happen. Um, uh, last weekend, it was prom, you guys. I can't, I, where is this year going? I just woke up and I'm like, first of all, I think Mason has like a random day off coming up soon. I don't know if it's like a Monday or Friday. I feel like it's always around Easter weekend, so... I need to look that up. Wouldn't that be funny if he didn't have school today and he's like getting up right now, getting ready to go to school? I'm pretty sure it's not today, but it's Monday coming off of prom weekend. I can't, this year is going by so fast, you guys. I think we only have like three more weeks of baseball left as well. I need to count down like how many days of school we have left. It's nuts. But here we are. It's Monday. It's a new week. The usual, we got baseball. You know what I do have? Ace has a new vet. Um, so his appointment is this week, so I need to look that up to make sure I get to that appointment. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully if you guys, um, remember we had to find a new vet because his vet moved, so we're going to a new vet this week. So hopefully that all works out. So stay tuned. But right now, coffee, let's have a good week. Hey, baby. Come How's my hair look? <laughs> you guys, it is so windy out today. We have a cold front coming through. This is Arizona, so we have a cold front coming through that's not gonna bring us rain. I don't think really any snow up north, but just wind. So it's windy today. Tomorrow's only supposed to be like 60, and by Easter weekend, we're gonna be 93. <laughs> you gotta love Arizona. But my hair looks like this because I was out back with Ace um, playing with him, and it is he loves the wind. I should have taken video because he just sits there. And he's like, the wind's going in his hair, but um, we got the Phillies on. You guys, the Phillies can't figure out how to win a game. Jack, earmuffs. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. But yeah, the Phillies, uh, I said maybe they're just getting all their losses out now, and then we'll do good when it matters. But like Jack said, can't lose too many. Can't lose too many Phillies. Just waiting for Mason to get home from baseball. I'm gonna cook up some dinner, enjoy the rest of our Monday night, but um, yeah. I don't know, Philly's not looking so good. What is the score? Eight, eight to one. Yeah, figure it out, Phillies. Good morning, guys, it's Tuesday. So I finally looked at the calendar and Mason does not have school on Friday. If I'm looking at the calendar, right, because I was talking to some other moms and some other kids last night and they were like, wait, we don't have school on Friday? We know it's Good Friday. Pretty sure we don't have school because sometimes we do have school on Good Friday. I'm pretty sure they're off on Friday. So I just woke up Mason, his alarm was going off and he was not budging, I was like, pushing I was like dude you got this you got three more days three more days and then you get a three-day weekend but with that also being said today's testing day so if you remember last year um he got a random day off because the let's see it would have been the freshmen and the juniors were testing well this year he's a junior so he's testing so he doesn't get the day off he has to go to school today and do testing so he's not happy about that at all but he's trying to wake up. I'm trying to wake up, gonna drink some coffee. So hopefully he does good on his test today and just gets through the next few days because he gets a three day weekend and it's Easter, so that's always fun. Look who's home. How was your Tuesday? Good. How was testing? It was all right. All right? Do you have to test all day or like half a day? Um, basically all day. Pretty much all day? Ugh, I'm sorry, bud. And guess what? He gets to do it all over again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ace, you got an itchy face? You okay? Is brother home? Whoa. Well, take a break <laughs> for what? Like an hour, hour and a half, and then he's off to baseball practice. Yeah. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway to the weekend. A three-day weekend. Like I've been saying, Mason has no school on Friday. And you guys, he needs a break. It's been nonstop baseball plus testing. So yesterday... I didn't even realize, you guys, he took his ACTs yesterday. Like, legit. All the practicing that he's been doing yesterday was his test. 
day. So he took his ACTs. We won't get his results back. I think he said two to five weeks or something like that. He feels pretty confident. He thinks he did good. Um, science was a breeze. He said math was probably the hardest part, but he's done. He took his ACTs. And then, like I said, he had testing again today. Um, obviously not ACTs, but I don't know, just like benchmarks or I don't even know what you call it nowadays now that they're in high school. But yeah, so I know he had more testing today. He's got baseball today. So the poor kid, he is going to need a break. So yes, the end is near, Mason. You're getting there. Um, I think he has like maybe six more weeks of school left or something like that. I really need a countdown for him. <laughs> He's getting there, but it's Wednesday. We're almost to the weekend. Bud, keep swinging. We just got home from Mason's game and the house smells like chili. I'm so excited to eat dinner. It has been so windy and cold the last few days. This morning I'm like, I'm putting chili in the crock pot. I say that, but Mason's game just now was absolutely beautiful, but we were sitting in the sun, no wind, but just now getting out of the truck to come in the house, I was like, okay, it's getting cold again. So it's a good day to have chili, but it's ready chili and crackers and I'm gonna shred up some fresh cheese. I do have a salad, but I think I just want a bowl of chili. It just sounds good right now. Happy Friday! I mean Thursday. Yeah. What day is it? Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, Ace is up back. He's like, oh, brother's home. Wanna come say hi? It is Thursday, but, oh, I think I just let a fly in. Um, it's Mason's Friday, like we were saying earlier. He has no school tomorrow, so he is home for the day. Um, just baseball left, so he's got baseball. And then coach said to be determined for practice tomorrow. I'm sure he's hoping for the day off because it's been a rough week, you guys. Lots of testing. How was school today? Good. Good? Listen, no. You glad you're done? Yeah. All right. Well, good job this week. I know it was rough, all the tests. Tell me, did your teachers give you tests today in your normal classes? Like, did you have a no. math test, an English test? Nothing? No. Oh, thank goodness. Ah. What up, bro? There you go. Say happy weekend, brother. <laughs> All right, well, welcome home. And grab a snack before heading off to baseball. Yeah. Happy Friday, everyone. It's good Friday. Happy, let's see, it's Easter weekend, I guess, since it's Friday. Um, that's exciting, which means this guy's off of school today. We've been talking about it all week, a very much deserved break. He's eating some breakfast. Um, these things from Trader Joe's, you guys, they're like fluffy pancakes are amazing. <laughs> they're so good. It reminds me of a um, funnel cake. Um, probably not the healthiest breakfast, but they're, they're good. Um, I think Mason has schoolwork to do today. So, so much for his day off. Is that right? Is that what we're going to do today, Mason? saying he needs to get caught up on schoolwork. He does miss a lot of school because of baseball. They have to leave a lot of times early before the bell rings, so he's um, it's an excused absent, but they have to get on the bus and travel a lot of times, so they miss especially a lot of his last hour, or so which is like math. What? It's like I'm in college. It's like you're college in college. Ten times worse. Yeah, college is definitely 10 times worse, but he definitely misses a lot of math. So he's got some catching up to do. So I think that's what he plans on doing. And then coach just said that there's optional hitting tonight. So probably head to that if he gets all the schoolwork done. Yeah, it's a three day weekend, so that's exciting. I'm about ready to head out to, I gotta go to the bank, I gotta go to Sam's Club and the grocery store. And then I need to be home in time because Ace has his vet appointment this afternoon. So if you've been following along, 
We've been waiting patiently for this appointment. Um, we had to find a new vet for Ace because his no longer, or he moved or something, so he's no longer in the location that we used to go to. So this is gonna be a new vet. Hopefully we like this place and all goes well and they don't say the Ace is too floofy. <laughs> Jack's been, ma he's been making a joke all week, like, oh, they're gonna tell us that we give him too many treats, but he's a good boy, he deserves all those treats. <laughs> and he definitely needs a haircut. I think he's like three weeks out from his haircut, so it always makes him look a little bit thicker than he actually is. Um, you guys see, when we get his haircut, he looks like a total different dog. But anyhow, that's the plans. It's Friday. We made it to the weekend. All right, the time has come. Ace knows something up. Hopefully this goes good. He gets a little crazy, you guys. Um, he's excited. Time to go to the doctor for Ace. Ace, come here, buddy. <laughs> Do you even know what's gonna happen? You have to go get shots. And they gonna weigh you? Are you extra fluffy? <laughs> All right, you, you're gonna be a good boy, right? Look at him smiling. He knows. Okay, let's get your leash on. All right, we're back with Ace. He did great. Um, sort of, he's just a spaz, but the doctor was awesome. Um, so I think I'm happy with my choice. The new vet, um, I think they said, what did he say? He weighed like 67 pounds? Yeah. So I don't know if he's lost weight or last time we weighed him, it was wrong. I don't know, because it was like 85 pounds yeah, last time. Yeah. I mean, he does go for a mile walk every day. So he's, oh, he's thirsty guy. So he got like three shots today, and we also microchipped him because um, the old vet didn't really believe in microchipping, which was bizarre, I know, or he just didn't like doing it. He basically told me, if you think your dog's gonna run away, then get a microchip. So when Ace was a puppy, I was like, oh, okay. We just never did it, so they did it. They microchipped him, and then when he got neutered, he had a couple stitches that I was kind of questioning, and this guy said, no, they're new, the new vet said, no, that's not normal. Let me remove those. So he removed those. But he said that he might always have like some like scarring where those were. So that it is what it is. So things happen for a reason. Maybe this will be better. Um, so far, so good. We're happy. Even the ladies that check you in, they were super sweet. So yay. <laughs> and I'm glad Jack was there with me to hold on to Ace while I was giving all the information and everything. So we're good to go. I think it's going to be his new vet from now on. So, and he's microchipped. So that makes me happy just in case, God forbid he ever gets out. He'll, he, he has a microchip. So, all right. On that note, it's Friday. I feel like I said, just kind of chill and Mason's trying to get caught up on rest and all the things. He really hasn't done anything today. I think he still has school work to do. I don't know, but I think we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog because I don't think we're gonna do much. We're, the Phillies game just ended. I think the D-backs are on tonight. So Jack's gonna edit the usual Friday. I think we're probably gonna do pizza, something easy for dinner. Friday night pizza always sounds good to me. So don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. Also happy Easter everyone. Hope you guys have a good weekend. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.